Mm, mm, mm. This is a question that I really want to have answered by somebody that may know. Um, I wanted to know, did anybody know a time in uh, white folks' history where they were civilized? Oops, I better wait till a little bit more time pass, huh? I mean, this is a question that I'm really serious. I'm I'm very serious about because <laughs> this is the go to show. This goes to show you guys how you really have to listen to their words and use your own analytical thinking skills because the fact that um, these people, major journalists, can get on the news and consider themselves civilized, and the rest of the world are brown people uncivilized. And it's not so much even as if they're um they're very serious. Oh my God! And I don't think that they understand how the rest of the world sees them. The great bloodshedder has the nerve to call other people uncivilized. This is insane. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. I'm saying this because as I began to examine how some of the uh, news people were talking, saying things like, uh, you know, they're civilized and this this is so shocking uh, because uh, you can expect something like this in third world countries or Syria or Africa or Iran or Iraq, but us, we're civilized. And I really think that you need to know history because a little bit better, because you are the troublemaker. You are the world's troublemaker. You are the one that goes all over the world shedding blood, doing what you're doing out. This is your specialty, doing it to yourself. Now, Usually you're doing it to the rest of the world. You're blowing up, you're sending out bombs, you're being a big bully to the rest of the uh, world. And now it's two European countries fighting each other. Just like the Vikings used to fight the Berserks and, you know, the Berserkers. And it's the same uh, diabolical mindset. The fact that Putin is over there just killing anybody at random does not surprise me. Does not surprise me in the least bit. But what should be happening is black people better be waking their black asses up. Because just like it's done over there to their own, you know it'd be real easy to do it to us. And the sad part is we're so full of self-hatred that we probably help them. It probably wouldn't take a lot for um, some of us to take up arms and kill our own selves. We're doing it anyway without nobody asking. So, you know, what, what, what gets me is what they want to announce as civilized. Because from the looks of your history, honey, you ain't never, ever, ever been civilized. It's amazing that the Chinese and the African man lived on a planet. One knew how to bend steel and it was built, bending it for thousands and thousands of years. One came along with the gun, what I mean, with the gunpowder, always had fireworks. They never thought about putting the two together and inventing a gun so they could take over. So they could be the great blood shedder because it wasn't in their nature. But it is in yours to be diabolical and to be a blood shedder. 
So when you run around here talking about other nations are uncivilized, I want you to know that from our perspective, you are the most unsavage, untamable beast <laughs> that humanity has ever seen because you're not at one with nature. You will destroy nature. It's in your history. That's why you have to keep moving from place to place. Now you want to go up to space because you've polluted and done so much damage to the earth. This is what your history is. This kill, steal, and destroy. Pretty much. You got the nerve to talk about people not civilized. Ugh. Don't let them project their madness onto you. Don't let them do that. Don't let them gaslight you. They are the most violent and the most uncivilized people. That's why we had to teach them. With that being said, y'all give me leave me your comments below. I'm not going to say nothing else. Please share the video. Please like the a video. Oh, and hit the little notification button, you guys. If you're not being notified of the videos that I drop, uh, sometimes YouTube has a problem, um, I guess, with syncing those things up. So make sure you check in and see that your notification button is pushed and that you can receive a notification every time I make a video. Okay? All right, family. I'll see you in the next video. And y'all...